firstly, we just need to understand what AI is in terms of artificial intelligence because it sounds so big and sometimes it sounds so scary and complicated. And it's simply really just a computer system that can perform any task that a human would normally have to do. So I think in our everyday lives, examples will be maps and navigation. If you use Google Maps to find some place, chatbots on website where you ask a question to get some clarity on something, and then facial recognition, for example, when you open your face with your face ID. And taking that into account, when we do financial planning, we use data and AI to identify some gaps in your financial goals. So say, for example, you want to retire by the age 65, and we take into consideration some data points like your current age, your projection on when your debt will be settled, inflation impact that it will have on that money you want to accrue at the end. And we can predict how much you need to save now, for example, with the annual increase to make sure that you can still keep those financial goals and your standard of living. So those are some of the examples of how we use AI in our daily lives. Now, um, artificial intelligence is currently being used in several different ways to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of financial services. Can you give us a few examples? I definitely can. So I think one thing that's definitely on the rise is in terms of chatbots. And this is not only on websites when you ask a question, but it's also becoming very popular in chat modes, for example, on WhatsApp. So you can send a question, and from there you can either draw a statement. And we're very excited at Old Mutual Namibia. We will be soon be launching such a chatbot on WhatsApp to make your claims process a lot easier instead of yourself having to drive to a branch or maybe in tough times don't need to or want to deal with humans. Then that functionality can absolutely help make it efficient anytime, anywhere, then you can actually process a claim. So that's something very exciting that's on the horizon. Mm, it sounds very exciting indeed. Now, are there specific industries that heavily rely on artificial intelligence to, for example, assist with tasks that are typically seen as more complex or difficult for humans to do? Yeah, I think the financial industry is probably one of the biggest beneficiaries of AI. Mm. Where we see a lot of reliance when it comes to fraud prevention and detection, where I think in the past a human had to go through like thousands of numerical data. We now actually have a AI computer system that we place where we put certain data points and algorithms in place, and it can pick up those anomalies to be investigated. So instead of someone having to sit days to do it, then a program can do it instantly and flag those. And then another one is in the advertising industry. So artificial intelligence has really played a major role in the way we advertise to our customers. So uh, with digital media being such a big part of our everyday lives, AI can actually identify where our customers serve the Internet, and it can give them personalized messages on those specific platforms. So I think those two industries are definitely one of the biggest beneficiaries when it comes to artificial intelligence. Now I see what you mean when you say it's a, it sounds a little bit scary. But um, <laughs> so... In terms of that now, do we foresee the extinction of financial advisors in the near future? And uh, perhaps it even brings me to that point where there was a revolution um, where machines took over. <laughs> it sounds really scary. Be, yeah, it really does. But I can definitely tell you the answer is no. So there's a lot of things that we bring in with HI and digital solutions to meet the customer where they are in a point of time for a specific need. But it's only digital when you want it, but definitely human when you need it. So financial advisors offer like personal guidance and support that goes way beyond what technology can offer us, such as a relationship and offering that emotional support during times of financial stress. So while the technology landscape is definitely changing in financial advice, that I can tell you, but I don't. But it's very unlikely that financial advisors will become extinct anytime soon. I think instead we see a shift more towards that hybrid model, where technology and human advisors work together to right. provide the best service and product to our customers. Yeah. Right now, it is evident then that uh, AR is here to stay. What more can we benefit from it, and uh, how far off is Namibia from fully implementing it? 
and embracing it, um, if you can say that. Yeah, so there's definitely some increasing development, especially in Namibia around AI. And we see this not only in our private sector, but in our public sector as well. So recently, the government of Namibia launched the National Integrated Development Management System. And it's actually simply just a program that, <clears throat> apologies, a platform that aims to centralize some data collection and management across sectors like we've seen it now being done in the health sector, in education, and in the financial industry. And this will definitely potentially have some impact and maybe possibilities for data management and AI-powered analytics. But, uh, yeah, in the private sector, we also see AI help us and understand our customers' needs and some of the behaviors so that we can help personalize their experience and specific solutions to them. But again, with all of this, it's definitely making waves. It's a new technology, but the adoption of it will require a lot of time will require a lot of investment in infrastructure and investment in talent. I do think we need to realize that with all this, it might sound very robotic and systems-driven, but we still need people and talent behind it. And then, of course, investment in some policy frameworks to ensure that we can benefit and the maximum benefit from it, but minimizing that potential risk it might actually have. Well, listening to you now, Sanya, it just... Uh gives me the picture of where I will one day walk into a supermarket and uh, there will be no um, teller behind the, you know, a a person behind the teller. Instead, it will just Mm. be a machine. (laughs) No, those are definitely things that are already being played with, Um, not in Africa so much. But, yeah, it's the way the world is moving. I mean, if we've seen different and previous industrial revolutions, this is just the newest industrial revolution. It's the newest industry disruptor, and instead of being scared for it, we have to embrace it, absolutely.